Hello everyone. Um, I'm uh, Justin and uh, I'm uh, in PhD uh, with uh, the IRIT uh, Laboratory and uh, uh, Liber Aerospace Toulouse. Uh, I'm supervised by uh, Serge Graton, Fabrice Gamboa, um, Thomas Pellegrini and Sifin Zhang. Um, I'm working on model uh, of a physical system um, based on data. Um, Liber Aerospace Toulouse is a company that makes um, air conditioning uh, system uh, for aircrafts. Um, this is a system that uh, cools down the cabin and the motor of uh, planes uh, by transferring the heat uh, to the exterior air. And to control uh, those uh, systems, uh, it is interesting to know uh, the uh, mass flow through the compressor. That is the quantity of mass that go through uh, a section of the compressor per unit of time. Um, we will have uh, two uh, expectations on this uh, uh, mass flow sensor. We want it to be uh, uh, sufficient uh, uh, have sufficient static performance and um, and dynamic performance. So the static expectation is that uh, when the mass flow is constant, uh, the blue uh, curve, uh, we want that the error, absolute and relative, uh, are sufficiently uh, small. And the, the dynamic specification is that uh, on the peaks, on the, the first and the left, uh, we want that the delay between the occurrence of the peaks uh, uh, should be born. And the same for um, uh, the ramps. We want uh, that the time of convergence and the final value uh, is uh, sufficiently small. And the same for uh, the 80% the time, that is the time to reach 80% uh, of the step. So uh, those are um, uh, engineering um, uh, metrics um, and we don't have um, a, a sensor for uh, planes, uh, embeddable sensor for mass flow in planes. So uh, we will use a data set uh, that, we that uh, uh, had been generated uh, in a Libre's laboratory um, with a not embeddable sensor to evaluate the mass flow. And we will try to make uh, an estimation of this mass flow uh, with embeddable sensors like temperature, pressure, uh, pressure and uh, information about the motor. And uh, we, will we will look uh, for relation uh, uh, with uh, two kind of model, uh, poly polynomial regression and a convolutional neural network. Um, uh, aiming to have a robust uh, evaluation of the previous uh, metrics. Uh, we need to find a lot of peaks and ramps. Uh, and to do that, uh, we will first uh, uh, look for potential candidates to be uh, peaks and ramps with a uh, frequential criteria. And then um, apply the clustering uh, to identify um, uh, the different uh, shape. So we will have uh, the peaks on the two first cluster and the two next uh, are the ramps descending and uh, ascending. Uh, and it will make it possible to uh, evaluate a lot of uh, the previous metrics. Uh, so we make a comparison uh, between uh, the results with a polynomial regression and a convolutional neural network. Uh, and we have that the CNN is uh, outperforming uh, the polynomial regression on the dynamic uh, performance and static performance. Uh, and uh, we have a, a sufficiently uh, accurate uh, model to uh, uh, possibly uh, control the system. So uh, now it is uh, tested on the, um, on the laboratory of Liber uh, in real time on the machine. Uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I would be pleased to uh, answer your questions. Uh, questions?
So you mentioned like the use of uh, of many like uh, conv convolutional like neural nets, and since you have like you're dealing with the time series, have you tried like the recurrent ones? Uh, how do they compare? And and uh, yeah, and I guess you know, it's, it's, so it's probably a very good idea to like to put this first uh, uh, frequency filters, but afterwards, uh, probably. I also tried uh, LSTM and uh, GRU, uh, and uh, I had um, uh, almost the same uh, MSE, so the, the tweet area of uh, the minimization, but um, I, it didn't reach uh, the same uh, dynamic performances. Uh, I imagine that the CNN uh, uh, deals better with uh, noise, but I don't really know why. Thank you. Uh, more questions? You have a question? Okay. Marjorie? So just uh, what is the next step for your PhD? The next step is to um, uh, use a physical uh, relation to uh, improve uh, those models. And uh, actually, I'm working on, um, on using a, a static uh, equation uh, uh, on, um, on the system of uh, um, the air conditioning system. Uh, uh, specifically, I'm using uh, the first and second law of thermodynamics. The first law gives me a model. And the second law uh, uh, gives me constraints and uh, in inequality. Uh. Thank you, Krista. Um, no more questions. Uh, thank you.